What's up guys, this is Igor in Russia. In this video, I'm gonna be reacting to this dude from YouTube, N uh, NKF or Z or something like that. Kind of cringe, but uh, one of the biggest YouTubers about Russia though. I'm a foreigner who travels from Europe, who lives in Europe, who's lived all his life in Europe and actually travel uh, to Russia and film the reality in Russia and translate it for you guys to see the truth about Russia. So I'm going to be reacting as a foreigner, a true foreigner who understands Russia and Russian. And uh, let's see what kind of, uh, well, I have to just react to this video. This dude is uh, hilarious, you know, for all the wrong reasons. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel and let's get into it. If you guys have been on YouTube or TikTok a lot recently, you might have noticed these very, very interesting propaganda videos that are essentially trying to compare the famous Western capitals of the world, such as Paris, yeah. London. I kind of film a lot of metro stations. I don't haven't done comparison videos that much yet. And authoritarian in the West, for example, Russia, China, and I've actually even seen some comparing Western cities to Pyongyang, North Korea. And usually what these videos do is that they basically cherry pick the nicest looking footage of Moscow or Beijing or Pyongyang and then they compare that to the cherry picks worst possible looking footage of these western cities. And these usually either feature protests or some sort of civil unrest or clips where European cities are just covered in trash or just... Alright, 44 seconds in and I have to comment. First of all, how does that differ from actually even the mainstream media? I have to say. How does that differ from the mainstream media? Have you ever seen anything nice except these videos that he's talking about, which are like YouTube content? Have you ever seen anything good about Russia? Think about it. Well, no. And uh, when I release my videos and just normal ordinary videos, not trying to prove a point or anything like that, uh, usually people say, oh my God, they have food. Oh my God, it's so clean. That's the real uh, uh, reactions from people. And then because all you see from Russia is that everything is bad. People get arrested on the streets. And that's why people say, is it safe to go? Is it safe to be on the streets in Russia as a foreigner? Oh my God. So basically that's so funny that this guy is basically, I have to say, I, I liked his, some of the videos way back in the day. Sure, he's been like a critical and that's fine. But now that he's like an, an uh, escapee from the Russian rule, uh, living nicely with uh, Western money from his, uh, from his subscribers and members maybe or whatever. So uh, now he's been very loud and anti, I'd say he's anti-Russian, sure, officially anti-Russian government maybe. But basically he's also like anti-Russian and uh, I don't know, that's uh, so, I don't know, that's so low of him. For, for him, maybe not low, but that's, a you know, to trash talk in any video, everything is horribly bad in Russia. That's his main point. And a lot of YouTubers, the biggest YouTubers are actually with this content. And I do understand it because I'm trying my best and YouTube is trying to block me because you shouldn't, sh you should only show negative about Russia. That's probably the uh, success story behind his channel or is it success i don't know i don't i i don't like this already but i'm gonna watch it for you guys usually it's so cringy i can't all right pushing forward just simply footage of a lot of muslims out on the street because most of these videos are usually posted by people who hate immigrants and for me as a Russian, this is really nothing new. Weird. This is a pretty common trope on Russian TV, in Russian propaganda, saying essentially that all of Europe is in complete disrepair, it's completely destroyed, just covered in trash, and actually people live terribly. Uh, well, guys, today I found <laughs> well, I watched some Russian video, or Russian news, or I don't... It's not like that. Man, this video recently called, Is this the center of London? Let's compare it with Moscow. All right, let's compare it with Moscow. Two million views in two weeks, and the comments... I like this channel, by the way, this Moscow walks. Dear God, I can't even believe that this is possible. And they have the nerve to teach us how to live. Dear God, may you protect us from all of the scum, sacred... Oh my God. Ukrainians, this is your dream. This is your paradise. Listen. All right, sure, um, that happens everywhere, that kind of uh, contrast and, you know, uh, over the top commenting, I don't know who they are or whatever, trolls or not, probably not, just some people, but I've lived all my life in, in foreign countries, 
foreign countries. <laughs> I've lived all my life in Finland, uh, traveled all around Europe because, you know, Schengen area, etc. It's uh, so one thing that I that was over the top this London, never been to London. But uh, when Europeans drink in many countries, it looks like that. And one thing that I see in, in Russia, people don't behave like that. You know, there's a order and that type of stuff. People don't, I don't know, maybe, I don't, for, for some reason, you know, genetic culture, people don't act like that, making that so much dirt. So <clears throat> how do you explain that? Pretty far-fetched, and that's his ta tactics. You know, everything is wrong. Already claiming that these people are racist. Uh, you have to be crazy racist. This is basic propaganda. Basic rules. Make it, make, create an image of those, those you oppose as bad as you can. You know, it's Muslim, they hate Muslims, etc. Time today. Myself, as a person who's lived in Russia for his entire life, but who's also traveled to Europe. Wow. He's also traveled to three countries in Europe, so now he's gonna... Been just a little bit. Yeah, he's gonna come in just a little bit, because he's now an expert. He's lived all his life in Russia, making a YouTube channel that is so over-the-top anti-Russian. <clears throat> and he's been to three countries as a tourist, so now I'm gonna tell you the truth. Is it? Is these videos fact or not? I guess that makes you a specialist, right? Okay, so we're in the center of Moscow. This is, uh, I know this area. This is Kitai Gorod. I mean, I really don't have much to say here, to be honest. It's just walking around the streets of Moscow. As a Russian, I've already said a billion times on this channel that Moscow is not a good representation of Russia. We even have a saying in Russia, Moskva ni Russia. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I've heard it. And, uh, system of governments, all the taxes basically go to Moscow and then are distributed around. Yeah, and that's actually true. The life in Moscow is very different. But then again, sure, I'm pretty sure that uh, capital cities are very different from uh, smaller cities as well elsewhere. Maybe not as much, but I have to say, you know, there's more life in, in, the, in the countries with uh, not that many uh, pop big population. So sure, you know, there is a difference. But he's true, uh, true about that. I've been to Moscow, finally making a good, uh, because St. Petersburg is the main city I go to and, uh, and explore the regions around and try to film all Russia, actually. Kaliningrad, uh, etc. Uh, Novi, uh, Veliki Novgorod now. Anyway, I traveled to Moscow and I have to say that, yeah, it's very different in Moscow. It's, uh, it's a bit more, it's nicer there. But for starters, I have to say, I cannot complain about any cities I've been to, to Russia, because, you know, they're full of life and uh, even the smaller ones, sure, there's a differences. For example, if you go to Viborg, which is a small, small town, it's different nighttime, sure, but still. Yeah, but anyways, I give him a point. Will, will this be the only one? Moscow gets the most of the money. They also want Moscow to be basically, you know, the uh, vitrina communism. The storefront of communism. That's an old thing, sure. European country that is doing really well. We're keeping, we're keep, we're walking down the streets. Cheapest car in Moscow, by the way, guys, right here. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, there's a lot of money in the. And this YouTube is full of these videos with, you know, guys filming uh, girls. He's laughing as if this channel is the only one who makes it. I don't appreciate it either. But uh, there's channels from Turkey I've seen that, you know, they put girls up front. That's the... We all know why you're so interested in Moscow, my guy. By the way, guys, I have one thing to say about Moscow. Let's hear it. Watching this video and looking at it, oh my god, Moscow's so clean. This is one thing they don't realize. Moscow is a fucking joke, especially their pavements. Okay, pavements. <laughs> oh my god. He's found a shaky pavement in one of his videos. Here's one of the parts of Moscow that I love, is that uh, this, uh, you know, the ground, basically, the tiles are all fucked up all the time. They're yeah, not in Georgia where you lived as a... Yeah, that's, that never happens elsewhere. Moscow, basically his logic is, and he's gonna go on a rant about it. So his idea is that uh, the, the pavement is a effing joke. <laughs> the city, the, the, the city, of Mo uh, city of Moscow is a huge area. There's like officially, unofficially, like 20 million people living in the area or maybe more. And uh, he's found, in his shitty videos, he's found one 
pavement area which suck meaning it's not it's a shaky one and he make goes on on the rants here i've been to moscow well unfortunately i didn't find any shaky pavements i found plenty of saint petersburg but uh so what you know <laughs> i wouldn't go uh that wouldn't be my punchline for this video but i guess that basically says he doesn't a lot of a lot of uh, things to say maybe if he goes on a rant against uh, Russian pavements, Moscow pavements, pavements. Francis is getting crazy money off of it. I mean, this is actually awful. Like, honestly. I mean, I wouldn't say it's awful. And I live in Finland, which has tip top, mostly tip top streets. Sometimes you find these stuff and pretty fast they are also renovated. <laughs> She's it's flip-flopping back and forth. This is all intentional as part of a corruption scheme. I wonder if his uh, viewers are like, yeah, I believe you, man. Yeah, it sucks. Every few months or so. So the center of Moscow is essentially a never-ending fucking construction site where they're really Also in Finland, I've seen that uh, not because of corruption reasons, maybe, but uh, okay. Now he uses some archive pictures of bad pavements. Nikolska street right here, this is basically... But anyway, in Finland they renovate the streets really often and keep them in good shape, but... Yeah. Looks good, what can I say? Okay, so we get it, let's now go and uh, check out London. Alright, he said it looks good and nothing complaining here, let's go to London. The switch has happened. Oh my lord, guys. Look at this. Failed state UK, guys. Whatever Boulder Bank... Failed state says. UK. Failed state UK. Look at all this trash and look at all these people walking around. This is Soho district, center of the city, guys. So, for example, uh, LGBT flags, you know. I know that uh, there's a lot of people here, for example, in, in uh, let's say, I mean, uh, Helsinki, you don't see that much people unless it's like a cel huge celebration and people go out, but usually it's dead empty. But anyways, if people do go out, there's a lot of trash usually. And for example, I've just been to... Uh, uh, I was, where was I? It was the uh, Denmark and I was in Denmark in Copenhagen. It was, uh, I think it was Saturday, Friday night, I think. Yeah, it was Friday night and uh, it looked like that. It was an ordinary thing. It was crowded. It was packed of like teenagers, early 20s people, drunk is like a totally drunk you know all around stuff dirt you know uh vomit so uh and i was like oh my god and i was and i'm the one visiting like every few weeks and <laughs> considering saint petersburg my home in russia seeing that and i don't see that over there never and so you know he's gonna make the distinction now that this happened only here because right here it was like a pride week and he's gonna go on a rant to so to say otherwise well my point is that happens actually for real for sure in europe and no matter what they do afterwards this is the behavior around the europe so whether you like it or not it's your up to you i don't care i don't like it i feel uh you know but anyways let's go home watching for russia that's a no-no definitely come on Wow, guys, I cannot believe, I cannot believe it that London is always this fucking dirty, guys. It's true, right? This is truth. Yes, guys, look at this. I mean... I so, yeah, London is... Ah, so he says that actually happens all the time. I'm pretty sure you guys can confirm this is what London genuinely looks But he has to somehow attack Russia, remember, because he cannot say anything good about Russia, never, in his videos. So let's see what's gonna do so fucking dirty i believe it's actually pretty simple if you actually watch this video because if you look at it there's a lot of people with lgbt flags and pins and also all right now he notices that this event is happening uh, during the uh pride week or whatever it's always usually a huge party you know it doesn't explain why people behave like that why people throw tra trash all around I'm sure that the next day none of this trash super civilized people nation the great nation acting acting like uh, like trash and throwing trash so what's the explanation for that to show central london to be you know as dirty as possible and also maybe of course and then again those dudes uh, he says already that it's a propaganda but then again he makes the same contrast videos all the time you know he wouldn't say yeah it's a little bit dirty he would say this is this is totally effed 
you know that's how the youtube works just so happened absolutely coincidentally that the day that i was in austria he was in austria wow the tourist was in austria and he saw Aust austrians and now he makes the distinction that the whole europe is clean because he saw austrians behaving like that he say uh, his uh, logic is uh, is fail is failed logic. That's what I'm trying to say. And he's actually the logic supports his thinking and his and what he's trying to achieve with the video. So much trash. Like I wonder how long it's gonna take them to actually you know clean all of this up. And guess what, guys? The Pride event was still going on, and we actually decided to leave it and just go around the city to check out some locations, some sites. And guys, literally two hours later, I was back at the exact same location where the Pride event took place. And it was pristinely fucking clean. <laughs> All right. So yeah, now he tells that uh, he actually uh, went to the spot after afterwards, just a few hours, and it was clean. Because uh, it's Austria, you know, I, I can believe that. And uh, I wouldn't say that if the party would continue throughout the night, which it didn't hear, what would happen. But I guess, sure, this was during the day, so why not? Uh, I want to hear what is his attack against Russia now because now he's only said that payment that isn't good on this one small street in a city of 20 million people so <laughs> funny guy I've already cleaned up the streets pretty pretty uh pretty I feel bad for him actually because they were throwing around a bunch of stuff but uh so what kind of a event has it has to be that you have to go on the cars with these uh, riot water sprinkles and clean up the streets how much, sh sorry for my French, how much shit has to be there so you have to clean it that way, as, uh, as I see in this video. In my hometown of Chelyabinsk in Russia, for example, when we have the city birthday. All right, now he mentions Chelyabinsk. I swear to God, for like the next two weeks, there's like empty trash bags and fucking cans of beer just floating around the main square next to like Lenin standing. All right, this so is real. I, d I haven't been to Chelyabinsk. I, and I would like to go t there definitely, no matter how dirty it is or whatever. Definitely want to see the city and then uh, get to know the uh, history, etc. And see the history. But I haven't seen anywhere I've been to, whether it's like a smaller town outside St. Petersburg, Moscow. I usually, usually it's super clean. For example, in St. Petersburg, there's only like one area where I sometimes see a few cans here and there. And it's kind of a, a dirty, you, but uh, b that's a city of 7 million people. And usually it's always clean, except like maybe some corner, which uh, the cleaner has missed. So I have to like uh, say that his example, whether it's truth or not, I actually don't believe him. I don't believe anything he says because I haven't, don't have the reason to believe him. He's a, basically he's a liar. He's trying to, uh, he will create these videos no matter where, where it's truth or not. So, uh, but yeah, let's go and uh, continue his watch. He says that it's all over some, some empty bags. Empty bags. I wouldn't say it's bad. I would, uh, full bags of trash would be bad. But some empty trash ba bags. <laughs> okay. In the sub, I've seen this many, many, many times. You've many seen it many times. Video, can see this is really you can see bad. this and I'm sure every weekend or every year, few days. What he sh shows from London to show Moscow and Russia as I might the be wrong though from London, never been there, but uh, I assume based on my experience from Europe, living in Europe full time. Although it's kind of ironic, I would say that to Russians who have no ability to travel anywhere in the world and have no money because most of Russians, like 70 80 percent, have never been outside of Russia because they simply don't have the means to. And that is exactly precisely why this propaganda works so well. And listen, 70 percent, according to his knowledge. Info hasn't traveled outside Russia. Be living in Russia, there's so much to see uh, on Russia alone. But sure, cultural exchange, it's important and so true. But um, sure, not all people have the money. I don't know how many people travel uh, abroad, uh, elsewhere. Plus, of course, the, the Russian, um, maybe it's maybe it's financial thing. But, uh, <clears throat> but I think... Uh, a lot of people travel even though uh, despite these percentages people travel further or closer you know you have many and uh, he says that russians cannot travel anywhere even during this times now russians travel all around turkey 
even European countries. I see that tons of people come in on the buses from Helsinki to St. Petersburg and they all been traveling somewhere. I guess that's the 30% he's talking about that's has traveled somewhere. Uh, so many lies. I feel, you know, that this guy is a, uh, he's, uh, he's got this one face, one uh, look that he gives. It's like uh, YouTube's uh, Steven Seagal. Even though I like Steven Seagal and I don't like him, but never mind that. Still, we'll use this example. It's YouTube Steven Seagal. Uh, oh my God. Now, let's check out some comments. Thank All right. God that I was lucky to be born in Russia. The amount of trash on the streets of London is really not pleasant for the eye. And also, there is an infinite amount of uh, the homosexuals. I'm looking at us and my soul is happy that we are not but listen, like that. Even though officially everything is... Uh, even though, uh, for example, in, in many European countries, the, uh, it's alright to be uh, whatever your uh, sexuality is with different background or whatever, it, it doesn't matter. But still, there's tons of hate even in these countries. So don't make that as, a, as if, um, you know, the Russians are only the ones who are homophobic, you know, that's a, that's the thing all across Europe even till this day. So, you know, be honest, man. The difference between Moscow and London is just insane. It's like sky and earth. It's true. So Moscow is, is the Moscow. most this amazing city there probably is in the world. Not my favorite, but probably it's the, the best, I'm sure. Tell this to me, please. I've had to go to school and like anywhere, basically, ever my, my entire life through shit like this. Like this. And he uses these pictures always all again and again. And most cities in Russia look can always find dirt from any place around the world. The municipal like cleaning services in Russia just suck ass. Like I already said in previous videos. Cleaning service. Uh, that's, by the way, the uh, the country and city where most of people say always that, oh my god, it's so clean. It's also icy as shit. It's like literally impossible to walk. Icy? Sure. It's, it can be icy. I give you that. city that I'm from, which has over a million people, by the way. Oh my god, one million people? It's, for example, in St. Petersburg. The second largest city in Russia, second most important city in Russia, Russia's cultural capital. And don't get me wrong, guys, I love St. Petersburg. However... I'm sorry, but walking in St. Petersburg true. in a city center or anywhere in winter is fucking awful. Yeah, true. It's a bit... Uh, it can be risky. It didn't stop me from loving the city, though. Well, either trying to... Well, either... But uh, still, yet again, do you have to actually use these... These... These topics in your video now? Saying how dirty it is, you know? Now we're talking... Now he's going f quite far from the theme to explain himself. The roads are not in the best condition right now either, and stuff. And once again, uh, the city of St. Petersburg, the center is a renowned uh, UNESCO uh, heritage site because it's so old. So I have to defend a little bit, not too much, that you cannot do too much in that area because it's actually very, very historic. Breaking your legs, walking in the center of but true, uh, second point to him. And it's even worse in more provincial cities, but Moscow, of course. Moscow is, you know, that's where, you know, first class citizens live in Russia, so... What's his, uh, what's his thing? What he's so mad about? Seven months out of the year, because they're covered in shit. I don't really think that means that you live in the most tight... If he, he hates Russia so much, why he makes videos about it, you know? He lives in Georgia now. Make videos about Georgia. All right, so you guys might think that that is pretty bad. Well, actually, I have something worse because on the same channel we have this video right here called "Is This America Too?" Moscow, Philadelphia. <laughs> so you know his uh, compare. His source seems to be one channel who makes walking videos, which is not a propaganda video. Wow, guys, what is this? Center of Moscow. Awesome, dude. Fucking awesome. And look at these pristine streets and cathedrals. Yes, Russia, based Orthodox country, not like the West that's, you know, is being destroyed by immigrants or whatever, because obviously that's what these people always say. Yes, look at oh my this. God. Look at this he talks like a guy who hasn't been in Europe, whose only source is internet, which is a sick place. 
Kremlin. I wonder why it looks so good. I really wonder why. All right, let's keep forward now and see what America is like. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> no, and this thing, this thing here. I haven't been to US, but I've watched a lot of you know, content, American content, not like uh, comparison videos or anything. The the he's laughing about this thing, but any American, and I got a lot of American viewers and uh, contacts. It's it's crazy stuff, and this happens in most of the cities. The uh, the drug problem is crazy. L.A. You know, just five minutes walk from the city from the Venice Beach. You you beach you can have uh, crazy areas where you cannot walk in in peace, and you shouldn't basically. So you know you're thinking and i'm probably gonna try to defend this and say that like but actually america is not all this well yes that is actually a good point to make not all of america is like this but also yes this is kind of fucking inexcusable ah oh, so it's now inexcusable so maybe you should have thought about it uh and why he uses the videos for his source the russian videos you watch american con uh, uh, contents you know, American YouTubers who travel the country, etc., and just showing the real world without any, you know, information. So, addicts or whatever who are literally squatting in like empty Soviet right. commie blocks that have been abandoned for decades. He found uh, a one block from one area in one city, Novokuznetsk. So he found this one block. So how, how did you have to watch that? Uh, did you have to search for that video long? Because in states, once again, you can find that problem right in your face. Because back in the day, when I was a kid, a teenager, or whatever, I remember there would be a even the uh, wild Siberian just came to Los Angeles. He filmed that as well because the problem is right in your face, and I know that before that based on the american content that i watch agree because these days i do believe that there's way less of that in russia especially in chilabinsk at least in my neighborhood there's way less like syringes laying around so they've done something there you know however russia still has a major major drug problem especially with you know so he can he said that russia has less drug problem problem than he used to like before putin so <clears throat> but he couldn't keep there because i guess his uh, viewers would get angry so what he did was uh <laughs> so what he did was uh, he continued by saying however oh my god ukrainians this is your dream this is your parent oh my god yes guys obviously ukraine's fight for freedom and sovereignty it's because ukrainians want to you know, some ukrainian content of course because otherwise he's russian he has to make these uh certain um you know uh certain uh, comments he has to say but otherwise because he is afraid his people gonna turn on him because he's like a, this liberal russian the saints thank god that i live in russia yeah what fucking soviet so, bullshit is this so yeah I this is funny for you, it's hard to and this is what i've been thinking about you know he's russian who's escaped russia escaped only because of this mobilization or probably because he needs some money from his uh donations so what he does is that uh, he ca he laughs at the people who says thank god i live in russia so people he's a i think he's like a you know not just because of the content and not because of this world events i think this guy is a, basically a traitor and well i guess it's obvious actually this guy is a traitor he's a traitor because he laughs at the people who are are saying honestly that they thank god i live in russia so he thinks that Russia is so bad that everybody needs to escape it. That's Western propaganda. Everybody wants to escape them. Everybody wants to live elsewhere. But guess what? A lot of people wants to live, uh, wants to live elsewhere, even from the uh, best countries of the world, because it's the grass is green on the other side. But in Russia, you cannot be proud of where you live. That's his ideology. This guy is a, is a, I think he's a scum. Whether you, no matter where you want to live, but you, you shouldn't disrespect people. I can say a lot of stuff about places I live. People uh, who have low self-esteem are gonna like get a... That's the signal for them to start uh, trash talking. You know, people can live whatever they want to make their own decisions. You made your own. You're a nationless dude who's asking, begging for money from, uh, from your Western supporters. 
And God forbid you say anything that makes them angry. There's a few YouTubers who's done that and they're like, I think they're pathetic. Understand that people deserve to have self-expression and that anybody can be a creative person. I understand that you've grown up in a society where everybody has to be a fucking cog in a machine. And you still love- Yeah, them. they're machines for loving their country. There's a lot of reasons to love Russia. You know, people lives there. Culture, history, you know, achievements, language. <sighs> Nazis are in Ukraine, by the way, guys. <laughs> Ah, uh, these are just so. Oh my nice. god, this guy is this sick. Is what they drove their people to with their freedom. All right, <laughs> I cannot watch this. I almost watched it full just for you guys. I lost like tons of brain cells because of this. This is horrific bullshit. This guy is a f is all long time he's been fake. Um, he has fake laugh, fake hair. <laughs> I don't know. Everything is done for the video camera for from this one perspective that he makes. All right, guys, I'm eager in Russia, foreigner filming Russia, reality, culture, locations, sites. Uh, please comment what you think of this dude, what you think of the video. Please subscribe to my video and let's guys take this up a notch and uh, see you guys in the next video. Пока-пока.